truck Friday, and I've always been too tall for mining. If you ever had a chance to go up in the high country and walk into a mine, you realize being six foot three is no way to mine. So I didn't know that a pasty Republic food truck is the pasty Republic food that truck. That is correct. Sam Al Hindi is with us uh, to talk about this. So a pasty is something that's been around for a long time. It has. It's been around since I think the 13th century. Really, and it's yeah, mining food. It is. It's food that's traditionally for uh, tin miners or copper miners mm -hmm. in a specific part of England called Cornwall. Mm -hmm. um, and we wanted to bring it to Colorado. But you said it had been here like a century ago. It did, yes. And you'll find places like contingencies in the U.S., parts of like the Upper Peninsula of Michigan, Butte, Montana, um, where you'll get a lot of pasties. I've heard places in Pennsylvania and Wisconsin have them. But wherever there are mines, there tend to be pasties. Well, let's look at some of the pasties. You got a few of them here. Tell me what's in what's in this one and, and basically what is a pasty? So um, a pasty is sort of like a pastry vehicle that's got um, a savory filling inside. Traditionally, it's steak, potato, rutabagas and onions. Rutabaga are sweet if you're British. So what's in this um, one? This one specifically is, I've got a cheat, um, is a chicken pot pie. Oh, so it's a traditional great. chicken pot pie filling. This one looks like there's some meat in there. This one is lamb, leek, mint, potato and parsley. Also very traditional. Lamb, leek and mint. Let's open one up because sure this is how you get it if you come to the truck, right? Is it open or cut in half? No, it's definitely open and then it'll go into like a little sleeve and you'll eat it like a burrito. Okay, well let's, let's open up and see what we have in here. So basically, this is our most traditional. Right. Um, if anyone knows what a pasty is, this is what they're looking for. Right. And again, it's steak, potato, rutabaga, and onion, and Delicious. some seasoning. It smells great when you open it up. Now, what's this one over here? This one is one of our uh, favorites. It is a vegetarian. It's got spinach, feta, almond, green onion, mint, and dill. It packs a lot of flavor. Tell me about this last one. And this one is basically a cottage pie. Some people will call it a shepherd's pie, but it's ground beef, mashed potatoes, peas, carrots, and onions. They all look and smell terrific. Now, there's the food truck. If you want to find the, the pasties for the pasty or Public, but you guys also have a store. We do. We have a. We started as a brick and mortar. We're on 42nd and Tennyson. Um, it's the heart and soul of our business. It's where we make all of our pasties. We do everything fresh, make dough from scratch, put fillings in raw, bake them for an hour. It's it's truly a labor of love. Well, they look great. We're going to bring them upstairs, get a chance to taste test them, and these are also good for uh, many of our, our staff upstairs who, after their work here in the morning, go mining for the rest of the day. <laughs> yeah. So it's true. Sam El Hindi from the Pasty Republic. We'll We'll bring it up in just a second, guys. All right. It looks, looks delicious. delicious. It does look good. Hey, you know, it's Friday. You know what that means? I'll tell you what it means.